So to do this update, you're going to need a couple of websites. The first one is mib-helper.com and the second one is mibsolution.one and one is to find out what the next version of your firmware needs to be and the other is to help out uh, is to actually download the firmware. So here I have a copy of the firmware that was on my cart. So you put that into mibhelper.com. So mst2 underscore eu because I'm in Europe. VW because I've got VW and then it's P0867. And you click on go and here it will give you some information if i just get rid of my picture now so it'll give you some product information it'll obviously tell you that it's validated and it is a correct one then here if you want to know what any of it means it will tell you so europe volkswagen version firmware and the type of hardware your actual head unit is made out of and then on this bit here it tells you what the latest firmware updates are so the latest update available is this one here mst2 eu vw p 0883d so now we know to get to the latest firmware we need to find one with that code and to download the actual firmware, you need to go to mibsolution.one. It will ask you to log in. So you need to log in. And this is where the part where people get confused, where they need to pick the right firmware. So for the VW MST ones, you need to go on MQB solution. And if you see down here, there's two different types. So on your uh, on the um, on the helper, it will tell you what type of unit you've got. So I've got a Delphi, or you might have a um, Texat. So obviously, I need the Delphi one. It will go in here, and you click in firmware, VW, because we've got a VW, and then your region, China, Europe, US. I'm in Europe. And here is all your firmware and firmware numbers. So you can see, um, I think I was on 08. Six seven, so there's the one I'm currently on, and you can look for the the newest one, which was zero eight eight three, which was on here. Look, zero eight eight three is there. It's downloadable. What it does um, pay to do on this is at the top of this one, it gives you a, an update path, so which route to take. So I was on this firmware, and this is the order the firmwares were released. So just because it's a higher number doesn't mean it's the newest firmware, which is a very odd thing to do by VW, in my opinion. So these two are not available on uh, on the to download. So I jumped from this one to this one, and then I will download 0876 and 0879. And now we know this obviously hasn't been updated because there is now 088. So Think what it advises you to do is go up in the steps so what you want to do is um, download all of the uh, firmwares that are available in order so 0876 0879 and then 88 so all you do to download it is um, if you find 0879 which is the next one that i need you literally just um, click it if you right click it you can press download and it will download into your downloads folder. And what you need to do from there is, so here you can see my downloads folder with the files in that have been downloaded from the MIB solution website. So what you need to do is open one of these folders. So if we open this one, it will have three folders in it like this so you need to copy these three folders and extract them to the sd card they have to be in this format so if you open a file and for example it's in this format the it just shows the mst number you need to double click that and copy the folders inside so you need the three sd2 sd nav sd plus and the text file in there 
So then what you do is you get your SD card folder here and you just copy them over into the SD card folder. I'm not going to do it now because I've already got some files in there. And then this is what the file structure should look like within your USB stick. And once all the files have completed and copied over, you're ready to eject your USB stick and go and update your car with it. And that is that part of the video. I will go on to showing you the actual update process back in the car. So here's just a quick clip to show you how to see what firmware you're currently on, on your stereo within your Golf. So you can hold the menu button down for a few seconds and press software versions. And there you can see, I've got an MS, T2, European, VW, the code of the firmware and the D at the end stands for a Delphi unit. If you've got a T or something else, it'll mean you have the tech net unit or something like that, but the procedure is still the same. And then there you can see the actual firmware number and the obviously part number of the stereo. So we're now ready to update. I've got my USB stick with the, with the new firmware on. You can use an SD card in the MIB slot in your glove compartment if you want. You can even put it on a CD if you want. There's three options to update. So whatever you've got most relevant or wherever you've put the files, USB is probably as easy as anything. You hold down the menu again, software and update. And now you can see a button at the top there that says update. Let's click update. It can see there's an update available and I have mine on a USB device and it's going to read it and show you what version we're going to. So if you click it and it'll show you here what's updatable, what's not going to be updatable. We're not really interested in any of that. You click start and it can take a long time. So you might want to have a battery tender on if you're going to do this. Um, and it's going to start updating and we'll come back when it's finished and i'll show you the new version yeah and here's a quick clip of it going through the process you can see it's updating station logos the radio will shut down and reboot multiple times through this process just let it do its thing don't touch anything and we'll be there with ready with the new firmware installed so here we go everyone it took probably 10 15 minutes to fully update so if we click the menu button again, how long press, and we can go on software versions again, and you'll see we've now got um, 0891D as the firmware. So that is as easy as it is to update the stereo. You just need to make sure you've got a compatible USB stick or SD card, and make sure you're downloading the right firmware for your stereo, and it's as easy as that to update. I hope this has helped. If it has, please like, favourite and subscribe.